Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Sonic Waffles and today there is a game of Search and Destroy on Subbase and uh, that is appearing on your screen right now and that is some nice color correction. I, uh, right here my controller, as you might know, I use a Xbox 360 controller on my PS3 just because the PS3 controller is uh, it's a little bit small, I have uh, very large hands. Um, I'm just kind of like I'm I'm six one and I'm fourteen, so um, yes, I do have uh, very big appendages. Um, anyways, without uh, any further bragging, uh, what I want to talk about today is Black Ops. All right, I know you've probably heard a lot about Black Ops, which you probably just ended the video right now, uh, so probably doesn't matter what I say. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but if let me check real quick uh, Black Ops countdown we are 32 days 16 hours 10 minutes and 51 seconds away from Black Ops right now uh, that is the release date uh, of course this is when I'm it's October 2nd uh, 8.56 past morning central standard time and uh, that's when I'm recording this commentary so uh, by the time this gets out it will have like you know like 20 29 or I mean depending on how long it takes me to get this thing up Sometimes it takes me a little bit while. Like uh, normally, if I uh, start making the video, then I, well, I I don't know. Normally, it can take me about two days, you know, because I normally render at night and then uh, maybe upload in the morning over uh, over my day. Uh, maybe depending on if I'm going to be playing any that day. Anyways, um, uh, let's see what's going on with the gameplay. I wasn't watching. Uh, this gameplay is 12 and two. That's my final score. And uh, I'm not really sure if I should be saying my final score in my videos anymore. I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe you should leave a comment. Because I know that a lot of people will just like, end the video right here if they don't like the score. And uh, right here I got a pretty long encounter with this guy. All right? And uh, I don't know how that didn't kill him after how many shots I got with him. And uh, I finally picked him off. And I was like, damn. That took way too long. But that's four people in one round. Which is really... I mean, that's a very good... Uh, good amount of people to get around normally when I play I, I might get two but I normally play very passively the first few rounds until I understand how they like to play now uh, since we're done talking about black ops I just wanted to mention how far away it was but anyways I, I will be commenting a little bit more on black ops towards the end of the video if you would like to stay for that long um, but uh, there's extremely passively or camping now there's some forms of camping where people just like to actually uh, sit in like tight, uh, very tight, and like in there. See where I'm about. I think I'm about to throw a stun grenade. To where that guy was. A lot of people like to sit in corners in that little area over there. Um, that's just the way they like to play. And I really wish I got that quick scope. That would have been quick scope. That would have been nice. But uh, people like to hide in those obscure corners and just wait. Now, uh, sometimes I'll do that, you know, if it's a clutch si situation, and uh, sometimes I just like to get my bearings, maybe listen for a few footsteps, maybe just try to figure out where the teams are, or maybe, like, devise a plan in my head. That's the only reason that I would sit in a corner for that long. And there's the, uh, pretty much the passive gameplay. Now, um, the guy that I'm spectating right now, he he's pretty, uh, he's unpassive. He's pretty much rushing through, uh, not really paying attention. Uh, this guy's got marathon stopping power, so you know I don't really have a good example of just a good passive gameplay. Uh, but normally it's like uh, you set a boundary in your mind where you don't want to go because you know they've got six people. You know that their six people occupy the opposite side of that boundary, so in your mind you just want to pretty much camp that boundary, and uh, you want to stay as close as you can to the boundary. And kill enough people till that boundary tightens up on them. All right, so pretty much map control. All right, once you have enough people off the map and they're dead and they're just spectating their teammates, um, then you'll have. Uh, let's see. I now I know that you probably don't want to watch this guy, you know, but that's I, I'm sorry I didn't speed that up. Uh, but I mean. But that passive gameplay, if you kill enough people, normally that boundary extends towards their side of the map. So you have a lot more room. And uh, with less people, you can control less map. Alright. 
So, uh, which is, you know, kind of like a free-for-all. I don't know if you've ever played free-for-all, but uh, you'll hear uh, many top commentators say this because this is the way you want to play free-for-all is because you want to control a certain area of the map, a small area, not a huge area, not or not just a small little room, but, you know, a pretty good size area. Like, um, you know, that area around Sea Flag, you know, it sends from Burger Town to the escalators in Terminal. Uh, that's what I call a Sea Flag area around that area that would be a uh, one-man job all right for um like free-for-all that would be something i would try to that something i would try to do but i think that might be a little bit too much so uh maybe because i mean that is a very high traffic area so you might want to size that down maybe just like cut off burger town or something but you probably need a lot of claim works to watch your back anyways that's another type of gameplay um, then there's the, uh, passive aggressive, as Blame Truth Like I calls it. I just call it standard rushing. Uh, now there's standard rushing where, uh, basically, you, you pretty much just don't pay extreme attention. You just kind of, uh, you kind of like search where you go, but the thing is you don't run directly towards the high traffic areas. Like, for example, in terminal, uh, passive aggressive would be trying to. Probably like once you spawn, heading to the right near A flag would be. Of course, we're talking about search and destroy though. Uh, where A flag would be, you shoot out the windows and then you drop down where you can uh, go climb up the stairs into the plane, into the plane, the little bridge that connects the uh, terminal to the plane. I don't know what that's called. Um, but that, I mean, that's something you know that is uh, semi-aggressive or passively aggressive. You know, you're kind of you're running away from the high trafficked areas because you're not looking to get multi kills you're looking for picking people off but the thing is you want to pick them off fast so you know you're you're moving yourself along past that boundary to sneak up behind people this i do like to do however sometimes it can be very slow so sometimes you know when i'm playing in a party and i know that i have some good people watching my back then i like to play super aggressive um, and for super aggressive, I mean marathon lightweight rushing straight to the high traffic areas. Uh, some people don't like that. You know what? It, it's just me. All right. I like to do it. And, uh, you know, if you don't happen to enjoy that kind of gameplay, then, uh, you, you'll just have to deal with it when I upload it because I, I do get a lot of recording like that, uh, or recordings like that, you know, some good clips, like clip wise and stuff, but other than clip wise you normally don't get gameplays like that except in modern warfare 2 um no you don't get a lot of good gameplays in modern warfare 2 because there's a lot of people playing that extremely passively or that camping ideal kind of gameplay where you can easily get uh kill streak awards you know five kill streak um you heard i think excalibur says a camper call of duty 4 probably the entire game will get sick won't get six kills all right if you kill him once then he won't you don't have to worry about him ever all right because in camping in call of duty Modern Warfare or uh, call of duty 4 um it, it's pretty easy to kill campers if they're hiding in a room you chuck a grenade up there because grenades are powerful now m many people say they're overpowered what made them overpowered was the frag x3 however in Modern Warfare 2 you sit in a, in a obscure corner like that guy okay i clearly outplayed right here you sit in, a, in an obscure corner of the map uh, where people don't normally check. You know, you don't have... Now, there's some taxes and there's stuff, you know. But if you're talking about, like, a 9v9 uh, team death match or something, you know, those are nine people, and chances are you're not going to kill the same guy twice uh, for at least a five kill streak. So there's no one coming back for revenge kills uh, normally. So, um... Uh, man, kind of lost my train of thought there. But since there are normally not those people like going back for revenge kills, a five kill streak, bam, you get your hairs, bam, you got your pave low, bam, the game's over. All right, it's that easy. Which is, I mean, that that's just how Modern Warfare 2 works, and that's what angers people the most is the camping. And uh, well, not what angers people the most, but that's what angers people a lot. And um, I don't know if this is what I recorded but now I started playing in 16 to 9 uh, aspect ratio which I am enjoying a lot and it should make my videos a lot better like the quality uh, things are spaced out more things are smaller and more compact 
Uh, so that might look a little bit better. Anyways, the game is coming to a close. I don't believe I have my final score. Yeah, I get this one guy. I think. I'm not really sure. Um, no, I don't, actually. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys... I know I didn't talk about Black Ops a lot. But I hope you guys are anxious for Black Ops. And I promise that I am going to put out some good Black Ops material. Um, also, my last Modern Warfare 2 montage should be coming out soon. And it might not be a full montage. It might be like a mini edit because... Right now, I've got about like uh, three minutes, maybe two and a half minutes of uh, good editing, and that's with cinematics. So, um, yeah, I, this might just be a mini edit. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.